What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into the Live Button Podcast. I'm joined by my host, Dad the Gamer, and we're going to be talking about the long road of content creation today. We're going to be talking about everything from what to expect from it, as well as the hardships, the really great times, the really bad times. We're going to go all over it, and we're going to discuss it together here on the Live Button Podcast. So, Dad, what are some things that you've experienced over the last you know few years that you've been creating content, that you've been streaming, that have kind of contributed to this entire road of the content creation what are some things that you've seen both warning signs for stuff like burnout or maybe some awesome stuff that has happened to you while you've been streaming lay it on us man yeah so one this content creation you know we'll call it journey it, it is a long one and i don't think mm -hmm. that a lot of people are prepared for that i think you know most people uh we've kind of talked about you know talked about this a little bit before but most people when you put in work you expect something from the work, right? You expect, mm -hmm. I, you know, in the real world, a paycheck, right? Content creation, you're putting in so much damn work for so long. Yeah. Um, and look, you know, sometimes you're, you're fortunate enough to where, you know, you, you blow up rather quickly and you have success immediately, right? But we both know that's far and few between that it's going to take, uh, you know, we'll say a few years, right? I think they say, you know, you know, the average time to make Twitch partner uh, in terms of st from start to, to Twitch partner and really grinding towards it is two years, all right? That's mm -hmm. two years where you're spending a significant amount of time every single day, every single week, every single month, you know, streaming content, you know, editing, uh, social media, right? Networking over and over and over again, over the course of two years, right? To mm -hmm. make Twitch Partner. We both know making Twitch Partner isn't the end all be all. Sure. But that, that's obviously, you know, most people's goal, right? It just, it, it is such a long grind and uh it's not talked about enough and i think you know people need to have the expectation of I, I, listen this is uh you know pastor Gaines talked about this before this is what you're just gonna do now like this is mm. it like this is your life now if you really want to you know pursue this and maybe have an opportunity to take it full time but like this is what you do uh you know for me it's eight o'clock at night on a sunday on a sunday evening i gotta be at work the next day guess what i'm gonna be up for the next probably four hours doing podcast stuff you know, editing content, and then I'm up at five o'clock in the morning, right? Yep. It's just the, the long road of content creation, the long grind of of doing this. Because I I know, you know, one I I I'm I am fortunate enough to you know have this kind of turn into something. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, some people might look at me and say he's a nobody. Other people look at me and say, hey, you know what, Dad, the gamers figured figured out something. You know, let me listen to him, right? Mm -hmm. But I've been fortunate enough to where I've at least you know, in terms of making money on this, like I've I make you know a little bit of money every single month. Once again, to where I can I could do this, right? But you know, most people they're not. I don't think they're prepared to do this, or they're not initially. They're not in the mindset of of hey, you know what, I need to do this and I need to hit it hard, and it's gonna suck for a couple of years because that's you know really how long it's gonna take for you to to say okay cool now I'm making enough to where maybe I can walk away from my job and and do this full time, right? Mm -hmm. uh, most people aren't prepared to put in the amount of work that it takes to get to that point. Uh, and look, sometimes it'll take two years, sometimes it'll take four years, right? Uh, obviously it just depends on how much, you know, time and effort you're putting in, right? For me, I, you know, we talked a little offline a few minutes ago. Uh, for me, I put in probably 40 to 50 hours a week on this. And that's that's not an exaggeration. You know, sure. I, every single day I sit down uh, for, for at least six hours a day at this stupid computer um <laughs> editing and i say stupid because I, i'm so tired of looking at these screens sometimes yep uh but you know it, it i that's that's the understanding that i have right like i know that you know this is one day going to turn into something where i can hey you know what look at my regular job and i could say i'm ready to hang it up and i'm ready to go do this full time and i've done the you know the long road of content creation and really uh, at that point in time i'm just I'm, i would just be starting um, yeah. Because even you know, make, once again, making Twitch partner for me, I, I look at it. That that's like this restarting again, right? You make a Twitch affiliate, you you restart, right? Maybe mm -hmm. sometime between affiliate and, and partner, you kind of like restart. You know, you know, get reinvigorated, right? And the same thing, you know, Twitch partner. Like for me, when I hit when I hit Twitch partner, because I know eventually one day I, I will get there. Uh, I'm just gonna look at that and say, hey, you know what? Uh, this is the start, and I'm gonna continue once again another long road of content creation to whatever my next goal is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think the other thing to realize too, is like, and I, we were talking about this even before we started recording the podcast, but it's just like, when you start comparing yourself to other people's journeys, that's when you can get really, really bogged down and it steals your joy. It does. And 
I can say that because I'm currently in that season right now. Like I am in the season of comparing myself to everyone around me because I've talked so much about how you got to get a circle of creators around you to be able to like be there for you in the good times, the bad times and people you admire and people you want to be like and like all this kind of stuff. And it's really difficult as a content creator when you see all the people that you have surrounded yourself with and that they like your content and you're all kind of in this little crew of friends, when you see them start doing really, really, really well and you are just staying where you're at. And that is difficult. And I don't think people talk about that. I really don't. I don't think people sit down and they discuss the feelings that come along with that and like the mental difficulties it is to see all that happening and then sit down and create a video and sit down yeah. and record TikToks or sit down and like stream. Like it, you can get so mentally destroyed by just looking at somebody else who may have started after you started or you know isn't as big on, on certain platforms and they are just annihilating it like they're just crushing content creation and you ask yourself you know when, when is it my turn when is it my turn i'm working hard I'm, I'm putting in the six hour days i'm putting in the seven hour days whatever it may be it's like when does that pay off and that's part yeah. of the journey that um, it's, it's hard, man. It's super, super Pe difficult. Peaks and valleys, like, peaks and valleys, yeah, you know? Yeah. It's, it's super difficult to sit here because you don't think about the peaks when you're in the valleys. You just don't like you completely forget about all the good things that got you to this point. And I was telling dad before we started recording, I was like, the person I was in January of this year would have killed to get to where I am right now, to know what we have right now. Like, but I'm here and it's not, it's not enough. And I think that's what is so difficult about the journey is like dad was saying, it's like, okay, you're, you're streaming and you're grinding and you're doing your content and you get affiliate. Cool. That's, that's like a reset of content. You got affiliate. Now you got to go to the next place. You kind of get in the middle for somewhere uh, along the lines of like 40 average, 50 average, right before you kind of start getting Twitch partner numbers and you kind of reassess to see, okay, how do I keep this going? How do I move forward? How do I do this? How do I do that? And then you get to Twitch partner. And even that's another reset because you're like, now that I'm here, what does this look like? How do I maintain this? How do I stop the partner plunge from happening where you get all these people to give you that partner push and then you're down? You know what I mean? And yeah. it's just, uh, it's dude, it's real difficult. And I, I don't have an answer for it because I feel like my answer is just, okay, well, I'm going to keep taking this one day at a time, one six hour session at a time and sit down and, and stay constant in my videos and work on my content and search for new and innovative things to do for my stream and and practice the skills that I need to and do the research. Like the the thing that's so hard about this is that it doesn't matter how everyone else is doing because you are the only person that can change how you are doing. You know what I mean? Like 100%. you are the person that has to put in your work. You are the person that has to deal with your stream. No, not another streamer who's doing well is not going to come in and stream for you and bring your numbers up. You know, it's, yeah. that's just not how that works. So, um, I think, I think that that aspect in and of itself, uh, is as far as I know, nobody talks about it. Like nobody talks about the, the loneliness you can feel in the content creation it journey sucks. when it's, yeah. When it's like it you and, and computer screens and yeah. that's it. Like you're and doing that for asleep. months on end, right? Like just yeah. months, years, <laughs> some, you know, it just, it just doesn't end. And, and, and you do this until you can take it full time. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, my wife asked me like, when does this end? Right. Like this yeah. is, you know, when I wanted to take this a little more serious and I was taking it more serious, she asked me, she's like, when does this end? Right. Like, and I told her, mm -hmm. I was like, it really honestly doesn't end, but one day I know I could take this full time. And so, you know, this, I, I will be just doing this, you know, Monday through Friday, eight to five, I can take weekends off, whatever. Right. Do it like mm -hmm. a normal human being right now. I don't have that opportunity because yeah. right now I'm doing this, you know, work a regular job. I doing this, you know, grinding. Right. Um, I wanted to touch on a couple of things. So one, you're, you're right with the, the, the peaks and the valleys. Right. Um, you know, there's times where I look the same boat as pastor, right. Last year I tweeted out. I had 497 followers at the end of December of last year, right? And I tweeted out and I was like, uh, by the end of, of 2022, I want to have a thousand followers. That's what I tweeted out. Yeah. Um, and I'm closing in on 3,000 followers right now. And I'm in the same boat. For me, I'm just like, it, it's not enough, right? Like, mm -hmm. because right now, uh, you know, if you look at my growth six months ago, I was averaging 350 to 400 followers a month, right? Which yeah. is like, Twitch partner status numbers uh, in terms of, of growth. 
Um, I know this because I was looking up other Twitch partners who have 20,000 followers, you know, on, on Twitch. I was sure. keeping up with them. Right. Uh, and that was like, that was, that was my high. Right. I think that I did that over the course of like three or four months consistently. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, that was, that was a high. And I was just like, oh my God, you know, this is amazing. Right. Um, and now, you know, I, I, uh, for those that know my situation, I, I moved, you know, a different state or whatever, uh, moved back with my, with my family, I was stationed somewhere else. Anyways. I, I put in as much as I can put into this now, but I was able to put in more time and effort in previously than what I can now, but my growth has, has kind of slowed down a little bit, right? And so now mm. it's just having that mental agility to know like, one, I know what the hell I'm doing, right? I know, and I know that might, might sound, you know, arrogant, but you know, it's confidence in me knowing sure. my abilities uh, to be able to do it because I've already done it once. Now it's just, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to be that slow growth over the course of time. And um, and once again, the peaks and valleys, right? You're, you're going to, there's sometimes where you're going to look at everything and you're going to be like, you know, that feeling of, you know, euphoria, right? You're just like, this is amazing and I'm doing it and yes. this is incredible, right? Yeah. And I promise you, I promise you, you're going to have more often than not, honestly, you're going to have those days and those streams, um, and really those weeks and months where things, things low, you know what I'm saying? Things mm -hmm. you're just like, man, like, I, what am I doing? Where am I at? This is frustrating. Um, I really, you know, this is such a grind and it's just worth it. Right. But you have to look back at, at, at your peaks. Right. And I know that's kind of, you know, ridiculous to say, but like, you know, just that feeling and what you were doing then to make it click again, you know, for me, I was able to put in more time. I'll be honest. I, that was, sure. that's exactly what it was. I was able to, to really put in a lot more time than what is, what it was now because I was stationed away from my family and I was able to, to put in more time. I didn't have, you know, wife, kids, soccer, basketball, um thing you know life right sure um so you know i, I but once again i i know i could replicate it uh but it's just a slower growth right and but you have to be prepared for that. not everyone and i you know uh, i got a video coming out tomorrow on the blunt truth all right let's so tune in <laughs> on going viral everyone just wants it fast right which yeah. is expected because you're putting so much time and effort into this but really you just need to expect that slow growth um to, to get you where you want to go. Now, listen, some, you're going to look at other creators, pastor talked about, you know, comparing yourself to others. It's easy to compare yourself to others. You know, people compare themselves to me. I, you know, I know people have been streaming longer than me on that platform. And they're just like, man, I'm at a thousand followers. I've been streaming for three years. Like, how have you been streaming for, you know, really a year, year and a half, and you're at 3000 followers. And it's like, uh, you know, uh, you know, di different people have different journeys. I, I, I guess yeah. is, is probably to say. At the, on the same boat, there's other creators out there who who have 100% superseded ev all expectations, and we're like, yo, you know, it's easy for me to look at them and be like, how did you do this? What, what in the world, you know? And really, <laughs> what is like, going on, go, you know, feel bad about yourself, right? But yeah, once again, what Pastor talk about, like. Uh, pinch me because a year ago I would be insane if you told me that you would be at you know closing in on three thousand followers and mm -hmm. you know uh, averaging thirty viewers a stream. To me, like the fact that thirty people want to come in and watch watch me is like mind boggling, yeah. you know. Yeah. And but once again, it's just it's just like you know you're we kind of hold ourselves to that expectation and just you just have to have that mental agility just to be able to bounce back. And, and it sounds corny. Uh, it really does, but like, yeah, I mean, there's nothing else to it, you know, I mean, and there's no other way to explain it. I mean, you know, you, you just got to have a, you, you're, you're down you're just like, all right, I got to get myself back up and I know what I'm doing and I got to keep pushing. Yeah, dude. And, uh, it's funny cause you were talking about, you know, we were talking about valleys a ton of times, but like remembering the good times when you're in that stuff and having the mental agility to like kind of bounce back and do that kind of thing. And it's very much easier said than done, right? Like oh, it's 100%. so much easier said yeah, than yeah. done. And um, I assume you know who David Goggins is. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. So David David Goggins has this this theory. It's called the cookie jar, and you keep these little nuggets of good things that have happened to you, or like wins in your life, and you store them in the cookie jar. And when you're going through some crap, when you're when you're trying to get yourself out of a slump, whatever, you reach in the cookie jar and you take out one of those things that really can remember you of like a super high time where you were at or like some really massive win that you had like all this kind of stuff and like we were saying it's it's the growth is like all relative because when we were first started like this year this year i had 300 followers on twitch in january yeah i i now have 1500 on twitch in you know almost it, almost december so yeah. it's like the the growth there is exponential 
but what I see is how little I, or how much I don't have, not how much I already have gained. And I think that's what's what's really difficult about it is like, it's hard to reach back in and get that cookie from the cookie jar and be like, okay, this is great. And you remember that, like, dude, I, if, if you had told me that people would have paid me to make them TikToks, I would have not have believed you. If you had told yeah. me that people would have sent me items of tech to review on my TikTok, I would not have believed you. If you told me I had 1500 followers at the end of December, I, I would not have believed you. I have all these things now, but it drives me absolutely bananas that all I can remember is how much that I don't have. And I don't know if that's like sure. human flaw or if that's just like human nature or whatever the heck it is, but it's infuriating because I want to sit here and be like, I've done all this stuff. It's super awesome. You should def definitely listen to me. Like I know exactly what I'm talking about. And to some regard, that's true. Like in some extent, I mean, I have people who've messaged me saying like, hey, I really love your stuff. It's helped me out so much. I've gained X, Y, or Z amount of followers. I'm doing everything you said. And it's awesome. And that in and of itself is huge. But I want you guys to know that like I am dealing with the same stuff you are just at a different follower count. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I, I, I don't no think difference. it ever ends either. I really don't. I, I, re I really feel like, um, you know, you reach switch partner and you just, you know, it's the same thing. It's, it's you're just because they got the check mark on there, right? It doesn't change anything how, how you feel, right? It's still yeah. the, the long road, right? And being able to just, I, there, there's so much, I, I mean, I guess I can't stress it enough. There's so much mental agility that you need and mental resilience, uh, you know, resiliency that you need to be able to just continue to, to, and I hate this. I hate the, the the saying to continue to grind because it's such a broad. Like, what are you grinding, right? Am I going live over and over again? No. Like most <laughs> of us know, like that's not the answer. Most yeah. of us know that honestly, all the hard work is sitting behind a computer with no lights on and whatever editing software is. That's that's the that's the hard work, right? Mm -hmm. But um, you know, it's 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 just it doesn't. I don't think it ever ends. You know, it really doesn't. It's just such a a long road you're always setting yourself on you know whatever your next goal is you're like all right how am i going to get there what am i going to do to get there and then during that time there's going to be some highs and some lows uh so look you know i we, we talk a lot about mental agility and just the, the peaks and the valleys but you know i kind of want to talk a little bit about um the long road of content creation and i know you're married you got kids i'm married i got kids it's hard uh you know family life right married mm -hmm. life uh because you know, once again, it's eight o'clock and I'm sitting here filming, you know, a, a podcast and, you know, I said, I said goodnight to my kids, my wife, uh, by the time I'm, I step out of this room, or at least by the time we're done with this, you know, filming podcast, like, you know, everyone's asleep and I'll go back to editing. It's such a long grind on mm -hmm. like, you know, honestly, the family life, because once again, I'm fortunate enough to, to turn this into something to where my wife allows me to do this, i.e. financially. Sure. Uh, but you know, so many people out there are spending as much time, you know, if not more on their, you know, content and their grind. And, you know, their, their, their days are numbered because it's affecting their family life, right? Because oh, yeah. their, their wife and their kids are like, you know, what, what's mommy or daddy doing mm -hmm. um, all day, every day, you know, in there. And, and you don't have, it could be difficult because you don't have anything yeah. to show for it, right? Yeah. Um, I, can, I, I mean, I could tell my wife I have, you know, 25, 50,000 followers, right? That doesn't mean anything to my wife, right? Let's be real. <laughs> what, what, what my wife is looking at is, is the money that's being deposited on the ch in, in, the, in my bank account on the 15th yes. every month when, when Twitch pays, right? Yeah. That's, that's what my wife looks at. Um, so it, it, it could be tough, you know, for, for you know, the long road of content creation when it comes to the family life because you're grinding so hard. And, and if you're somebody out there, you're, you're dedicated to your craft and you're, you're dedicated to, to learning editing and putting out content over and over again, and you're not getting the results, you know, it, it's tough because you're like, man, like it's kind of affecting maybe my life a little bit. And, you know, you kind of give it up and, uh, you know, you kind of have to prepare not only yourself, but hey, you know what, wife, spouse, you know, husband, I intend on doing this. And I would yep. love your, uh, not uh, you need your wife's support, your spouse's support. Yes. That's you can't do this without it. We talked about that before. Yes. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're, this is going to take a lot of work, right? Um, and I don't think people, you know, once again, they kind of maybe overlook that a little bit of how much it takes in terms of time away from the family life that you're grinding and sitting here behind the computer doing this stuff. Yeah, and dude, I think you, you, you mentioned this earlier because I've had the same conversation. And I think a lot of us who are, who are listening or, or, or streamers or content creators or whatever it is, We've all had that conversation with a significant other, like, hey, like, 
when does this end? What does this look like? Like, what, what are, what are you doing here? Because sadly, it's kind of like if there's not a huge chunk of money going in, oh yeah, to an 100%. outside, to an outside person, this looks like a waste of time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, and you know, if I get to the point where you know my kids are in school, like all of them are in school in two and a half years, and I still haven't made it to where I want to go, and I'm still not providing a decent amount of money, yeah, then guess what? I got to get a job, and this remains a hobby. You sure. know, I mean, it. I say hobby. It is the only thing that I do, but it remains just that. I would work at my job, and then I would make a paycheck that way, and then I would come back, hang with the family, and then I would do this. And my yeah. nights would look very similar to what you're talking about, Dad. You're just, I mean, you say good night to the kids, good night to the wife, and then you sit in front of a computer screen and you work. And that doesn't fly in some households. After yeah. a while, after after six months, a year, like that is super, super detrimental if that's not handled properly and that's not handled correctly, which is why like we, and we'll talk about this when uh, when we have um, probably yeah, daily dad on, yeah. but it's like that that work-life balance, so to speak, or that, that content creation life balance of like, you got to make sure priority number one is taken care of. And for a lot of people, they get it twisted and think priority number one is streaming and content creation. Yep. That is not the case because if the second dude, the second it rocks the boat, it's it's not it's not going to last. I, it, you're going to yeah. be burnt out. It's not going to last. Um, but yeah, man, I think with, with we've talked a lot about like kind of the negative side of things and and kind of how hard it is and kind of how hard it can be mentally and, and what you need to kind of accomplish this. But Dad, what are some what are some wins that you have had over the last year? Like, what are some things that yeah, you yeah. experienced that you were just like, "What the frick is going on, dude? Like, dude, how is this I'll, even happening?" I'll I'll tell you this right now. The, the we've we talked briefly about this and the skills you need as a streamer slash content creator, but I have learned some skills doing this that I I know I can go get a job doing. All right, yeah. I I've I've talked uh, a little bit about this in this podcast, but. I've taught myself programming. I've taught myself Python programming enough to where now, like I've created numerous applications for my stream, but now I'm in the middle of teaching myself JavaScript and HTML and mm -hmm. I've built, you know, website, uh, you know, my own personal websites for use for streaming. Right. I've developed some skills now where once again, that, you know, if I would have given up because, you know, this long road of content creation, I would never would have done. And I continue to refine those skills. So God forbid it, the day I, you know, say, I no longer want to do streaming content creation. I'm done with this stuff. I have learned some skills that I know I can go out in the real world and implement those skills. You're talking about, you know, photography, right? Yeah. Once again, uh, you know, the camera, right? Exposure, lighting, those sort of things. Uh, I mean, the amount of stuff that we've learned, I feel like I could probably now go out and maybe at least be an amateur photographer, right? You know, mm -hmm. talking about, you know, maybe posting on Facebook and doing, you know, photography sessions, right? The amount of skills that you learn over the course of, you know, your your content creation journey, it's incredible. You have yeah. you learn a lot of skills if you if you take it all in. If you really if you're searching you know, for it, yeah, yeah. If you're searching for it, you learn an incredible amount of skills over that course of time. Um, and you know, you can you can walk away if you do choose to walk away uh, and say, hey, you know what, I, I've learned some stuff. Maybe now I could take some decent pictures, you know, with me, my, my wife and my kids or my spouse and my kids. Right. Um, you know, for me, I, like I said, programming, I can go out and create some program and go, go out there and, and develop applications for, for, you know, for companies. Right. These are skills mm -hmm. that I didn't have, uh, before yeah. I started, you know, all of this. So, um, or you know what, hell worst case, if there's streamers out there, hire me and I'll help you set up your stream kind of thing, you know, that kind yeah, of stuff. Dude. I think yeah, I've dude. set up a, a pretty decent stream so far. I've yeah. gotten some compliments on it. So, you know, it, it, you definitely develop some skills that, that bleed over into, um, you know, the real world, uh, but as well as, you know, possibly jobs. Um, yeah. If you really, you know, hone in on your craft and, and really focus in on uh, really once again, searching and, and learning this stuff. Yeah, dude. And I think when you get to that point, when you get to that point where you look around at like what you have accomplished as a streamer and like what you have accomplished as, as a YouTuber or a TikToker or whatever you're going to classify yourself as, it is kind of crazy that the majority of people that are making TikTok videos don't understand that there are businesses that would hire you full time if your Absolutely. video editing and stuff is good enough to to be their TikTok person. Like people are trying to, you know, business trying to get into TikTok, they're trying to get into social media, especially small businesses now like trying to figure out how to get yeah. an online presence to sell sell something or or to have a have a presence on on a platform whatever it may be. And dude, 
I am convinced, just like you said, I could be hired, whether it's freelancing or whatever it may be, sure. by somebody to create them a YouTube video or to create an amateur thumbnail for them or to yeah. make a TikTok account and upload TikToks daily or to take someone else's TikToks, chop them up into videos, resolve, make them look really, really awesome, and then upload them onto their own platform. Yep. You know, you you we think that like once we get pegged into our own little niche of of content, that that's where we have to stay. But you don't, you got to remember, like, you are going to learn just in order to make a TikTok video. You have to learn how to do that, how to, how to video edit, how to, yeah. how to, you know, record it on your phone, how to chop it up on your phone. Like, there's a certain level of stuff that you're going to know how to do that someone else is not. And there's always people that are willing to pay you for stuff they don't know how to do. That's 100%. the biggest reason that people get paid is because somebody doesn't know something and they need someone else to know. So like, you know, my, one of my, one of my massive wins, um, I have a, I've had a few this year, but like one of my massive wins was a company reached out and they're like, Hey, we're going to give you $100 to make a TikTok for us. Yeah. Uh, would you be interested in doing that? And I was at the time it was before I had even really kind of blown up. I was probably like 11,000 followers or something. And I was like, $100 for two minutes of work. Yeah. Uh, crazy, right? Yes. I would love that. So I went ahead and did it. And you're also accruing brand understanding. And in terms of talking through email with brands, you're learning how to, how to communicate in on a professional level, mm -hmm. what you need, you're learning how to even figure out your own rates and all that kind of stuff. And it's, it's a massive, massive win when somebody like a company, somebody looks at your TikTok page or your Twitch page or, you know, YouTube, or whatever it says. And they say, we want to work with you because of what you're doing. That's yeah. literally what they're saying. 100%. So having those wins, like that's the cookie jar. That's the thing where it's like, dude, in the beginning of this year, I got paid to make a TikTok. Or you know what? In the, in the midway through the year, I got a free microphone because they wanted me to make a TikTok video about it and they sent it to me. Like those are the things that keep you going because right when you're kind of in that rut where it's like, this sucks, I'm not yeah. going anywhere. Typically in my experience, the second I get like the deepest into that, I get an email from a brand and like, hey, we'd, we'd really love to work yeah. with you. And I'm like, okay, I'm doing something right. Like, I don't know what I'm yeah. doing, but I'm just, I'm moving forward regardless. Like, and that's, and that's the most important thing is just to continually move forward on your journey. Like, don't stop. I mean, if you have to stop because of like family stuff or, or illness or whatever, like obviously sure. that, 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 that makes that's sense. Precedence. But like, yeah. I mean, be realistic about it. But like, if you love doing what you're doing and you have a full-time job, but you love editing and, and YouTube and all this kind of stuff, keep doing it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? It, be, it becomes a, a small source of revenue that comes in that pays for itself over the yep. course of the next six you months. You meet some awesome people that on a Sunday night, you film a, a podcast episode, you know? Yeah. And one of them has a really dynamic background and the other is just a white wall. It's the best. It really makes for great content. I don't even look at my camera right now. You know, like it's, <laughs> we'll figure this out at some point, but you you never know. You never know what's going to happen 100%. on your journey. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's, that's what I think, man. Now that, uh, that's, I forgot, I forgot my, uh, my train of thought there. Good. Uh, yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> we, also, we know what we're doing. I'm going to keep this, I'm going to keep this part in the podcast because I feel like this is when I edit this out, <laughs> people, people need to understand that we, we don't know what we're talking about 90% of the time. <laughs> Listen, when we say we're raw and unedited and, and this is really it. unscripted, this is it. Like yeah. we, we, we don't, we literally just have a list of things on our computer of, of different topics. So we're like, yeah, that sounds good. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Let's, let's talk about it and let's just free ball it the entire time uh, and we'll figure it out. Because that's the other thing too, is this is part of a separate journey that we're both on. A, we're learning to communicate back and forth to each other, how to play yep. up. Like each podcast episode, we get to know each other more and more and more and more. And that's why you guys who are the listeners pick up on like, dude, you guys go back and forth really, really well. Yeah, it's because A, we enjoy it thoroughly. We love yep. doing the podcast. And then B, we get along like off the podcast, off stream, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Like we get along. It's not, it's not like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not, um, dude, what's the word I'm looking for? When things are like hard or difficult or, you know, it's not stressful. Adverse? adverse? Yeah, it's not adverse. It's right. not adverse or stressful or, or hard to like sit down and just communicate and sure. talk, you know? Yeah. So, that's that's it's it's so, funny because we don't 
the majority of the time i edit out all this kind of stuff that you guys have heard for like the last 30 seconds i'm keeping it all in i'm keeping 100 uh to, to close it out all right so the long road of content creation it sucks all right uh yeah. it really it really it, it it if you're new to this um welcome because it, be prepared for the for the highs and lows and for those that have been around for a little bit and maybe you know you're struggling a little bit um i it's such a broad thing to say but don't don't give up all right don't keep grinding bro keep, keep, keep grinding <laughs> keep grinding no like i i hate that so much i hate i hate that term yes. um but reach in you know and, and just find a win to keep you up uh give you know find something to say hey, you know what this is why I got into it um, once again and, and kind of look back, you know, look back at, at, at somebody, you know, yourself six months ago, a year ago and mm. say, man, I, 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 this is where I'm at now. Right. And once again, yeah. it's easy for me to say, uh, you know, man, I'm only at 2,900 followers. And but a, a year ago, I, I would have killed to be at 2,900 followers. You know, a year yeah. ago, if you would have told me that I'm closing on 3,000 followers, I'm like, you're out of your damn mind. Like, sure. I, I, sure. Absolutely crazy. Right. Because I was averaging you know, four or five years of stream back then. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, you got to look back and, and understand once again, the long road of content creation, it sucks. You're going to have highs and lows just when you, when you're at your lows. All right. You just got to, you got to reach into something and say, you know what, this is why I got into it. I still enjoy it. This is what I've learned. And, and I know that this is just a low because I promise you, everybody, there's always highs. There's always lows, and I'm doing the whole thing with my hand right now. If, if you guys aren't on YouTube, <laughs> if, you guys aren't on, if you guys aren't on YouTube, follow us on YouTube, right? Subscribe to us yeah. on YouTube, Live Button Podcast. But I'm like doing this thing with my hand with the waves, you know. But yeah, uh, there's always going to be waves. There's there's going to be ups and there's downs. You just got to figure out how to how to get out of the, the lows to get not even to a high, but just you know that mid level peak to where you're like, all right, cool, like this is this is enjoyable again, or this I'm I'm winning into something. Yeah, no, I like it. I like it a lot. So, guys, listen up. If you are watching on YouTube, go ahead and uh, and leave in the comments kind of some things that you do to get out of these valleys, out of these valleys, and, and some things that you do to kind of maintain your highs or maintain just a, an even keel across the board. But, guys, we we really, really enjoy you guys listening to the podcast. We really appreciate it. Um, Dad, where can they find you on social media? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Dad the Gamer. The E is a three at the end, and then everything else is uh, just Dad the Gamer. And then if, for the podcast, uh, if you guys are listening on Apple or Spotify, thank you. It is much appreciated. But if you yeah. guys want to see us uh, IRL, that's what the kids say, right? IRL in real life. They say, they say that, right? IRL. If you guys want to see us IRL, all right, um, go make sure you guys check us out on YouTube, uh, Live Button Podcast on YouTube. Subscribe to us. Uh, ring the bell notification thing and uh, check us out. How about you, Pastor? Yeah, yeah, so you can find me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Pastor Gaines, and then every other social media is I am Pastor Gaines, one word. It's Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. So make sure to follow us all in there. We appreciate it, guys. Until next week, which is going to be episode nine, or episode 11, which 11. is super crazy. I love crazy. that. We're past um, the 10 mark. But yeah, until, uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you later. So uh, we'll talk soon. Later, guys.